Hey guys, it's Connie here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to solve this problem. Find the area bounded by y is equal to root x and y is equal to x. First things first, I'm going to draw a graph. And now I'm going to draw y is equal to root x. And then I'm going to draw y is equal to x. So the region we're trying to find is this region right over here. But first we need to find the endpoints. Now from the graph, you can note that the endpoints are zero and one, which is where we need to integrate it. But let's say you didn't want to draw the graph and you wanted to do it just by using the equations. How would we do that? Well, in order to find the bounds we're going to be using without using a graph, we have to set the y values equal to each other. So root x is equal to x. Let's square both sides so we get x is equal to x squared. Taking x to the other side, we're left with x squared minus x is equal to 0. Factoring out of x, we get x, x minus 1 is equal to 0. And we get x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. So the same exact thing from the graph. Now, as we know, we're going to have our integration symbol and our bounds are 0 to 1. We've established that. However, in order to find this, we need to do the top function minus the bottom function. So in this case, the top function is root x and the bottom function is just x. So whenever we're solving problems such as these, it's always going to be top function minus the bottom function. So top function we said was root x and bottom function we said is just minus x. And then we have dx over here. Now this is simple enough to solve. We have integration of 0 to 1 x1 half minus x dx. I just put it in a exponent as a fraction since it's a bit easier to solve. And 1 sixth is our final answer.